Hey guys, how's it going? Today we have a really cool map to take a look at. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the entire map is orange, and there's a good reason for that. Well, actually there's not. It's just a stylistic thing. But let's go into what this map is all about, because there is a lot of cool things, and if you couldn't tell, this map is all about NPC fights. Now it's big, but it's not too big. Going over into this other room, we have, as you can see, a pool. And it leads into some interesting geometry, like this building out of nowhere. Which, of course, once you go into the building, we have Father Grigori giving us a stand-up show. Or hey, maybe you're more into vent crawling. That is where this comes in, and if you guys couldn't tell already, there is going to be a lot of cool secrets in this map. And of course, this vent leads into a bathroom. Why would you want to fight in a bathroom? Well, I don't know, but all of these halls are interconnected, and they all lead to interesting things like this soccer ball right here. And if darkness is your friend, then this will definitely be the room for you. So what do you guys say we go on to the other side now? There is a lot of obstacles here. And there's tons of verticality here, so NPCs are not going to just be sitting on one level fighting. There's also a bunch of explosive barrels to make things a little bit more dramatic. But going further to the depths of the map, we have... Well, a generator room, or some kind of engine room, that then interconnects into, well, a laundry room. So obviously there is no, like, specific theme going on here, except for, well, orange. But I will say, I do think it adds to the spice of the map, to kind of keep things more interesting. And it also makes things more maze-like. And there's a reason for that. Because we're going to spawn NPCs not only on one side, but at both sides. Now, I do have a lot of questions for some things on this map. For instance, why are the drink machines locked up? We also have this overlook with two chairs, but there's not really anything to look at. We also have these catwalks up here to, again, kind of give you some verticality in the fight. And then, of course, we can't forget the emplacements. We have two turrets here, as well as some ammunition in case we do run out. We also have some explosives here, which we can use in the fight. And I think that's just really cool. We even have some non-traditional weapons like saw blades and even spears which by the way i didn't know this when you pick up a spear it automatically corrects itself into the right orientation did did it always do that in half-life 2 because i know it did with the saw obviously ravenholm all right so before we do start the fight check out this very creepy room tons of tvs i think there's like 500 of them or something like that don't know why this room has to exist, but it does. Once again, these are really here just to make things more interesting. And interesting, indeed it is. This is almost like a two-in-one. It's like it's an NPC fighting map, but it's also like an abstract map at the same time because of all these cool rooms. We're going to just skip all that though. Forego everything, because after all, I assume this is going to be a mini-mod showcase. So let's go into the nitty-gritty. Alright, so this is going to summon the Evil Combine. Combine soldiers incoming. I mean, it makes sense because you can see in here, there's obviously AR2 rounds and SMG. And I'm going to assume the Combine are going to spawn from there? Okay, I'm so dumb. The Combine are right here. Okay. So now what we can do is we can fend them off. And this does have nodes, obviously. I mean, you would think it would. And it works amazingly because these Combine probably spawn so far away, yet they know exactly how to maneuver the map. Now, I recommend shooting the barrels because that's going to give you some extra oomph. Apparently, they even spawned behind us, unless they came through that door. Hey. Hey, bro, check this out. You ready? <laughs> Works every time. Now, I was kind of hoping that we would have some buddies. Wait. Oh. This is going to turn off many lights. And, okay. I knew it. So guys, here I was worried that I would have to do this alone, but of course we could spawn friendly boys right here. Now we should have some pals coming in. Oh, there we go. What's up, homies? So this is kind of cool. If you want to go for a more spooky approach, then you can definitely use this. All right, so I never knew this. I don't know if this is new or if it was always in Half-Life 2, but even the turrets, the emplacements have flashlights on them. That is super cool. It does kind of teeter away from where you aim though so like if you aim down here you can see the light is a bit above our crosshair that could be a bit annoying but i'm gonna rock it and we can see that the npcs will even get on the emplacements that's so cool 
Although they're getting our backside and it is really screwing us. So I'm just going to blow up the entire explosion room and see if that helps. Uh, hey, Barney, you wouldn't happen to have a med kit, would you? Oh, we have a medic down here. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. So we're going to try to get over all these corpses here and get back into the fight. Already, we are almost dead. And... Well, now we're dead. So the fight really does never end, but if you feel like you're getting a little bit, well, overwhelmed by this, then you can obviously just restart, but I do want to kind of admire what these NPCs are doing, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn those lights back on, because it's probably annoying. Sometimes I forget that people actually watch my channel. Um, we're gonna keep the lights on, we're gonna spawn the friendlies, and we're going to try to just admire the fight. So I think that starts the alarm. I'm going to make it to where the NPCs ignore me, and we're going to look from afar, but first I want to see where they spawn in, and they spawn in this room, which kind of makes me wonder, what's the point of these rooms back here? Because I feel like the fight's never going to get to this, oh, there we go, okay, so we have like this like spooky locker room, or maintenance room, whatever the hell this is, that's actually kind of cool, alright, let's go into the main battle area here, we can see the NPCs are rightfully on those turrets, I don't know why they keep spawning behind us. Is this really one of their spawns? Oh, okay, you know what? They could actually come through there. Wait, does this actually work? I gotta see this. Oh, that is so cool. We have a working elevator. I have no clue where this is going, though. Oh, perfect. Into our explosive... Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's going lower than that. All right, here we are. Um, I didn't even know this level existed. And once again... Oh, it's the sewer system! Whoa, this is cool! Now, I don't think you're ever gonna really see any NPCs down here unless the fight, like, really gets that intense. But once again, you don't have to use the pre-configured NPCs. You can, well, spawn your own, and you can spawn them pretty much anywhere with, hopefully, good success. Now, I kinda wanna know where this goes. This is interesting. Alright, we have some goop. I heard someone say my name. Who the hell is that? Wait, dude? Are you okay? Guys, this just keeps going down. I can't believe how how far down this goes. Oh, this is spooky. I don't like this. We got doors, though, that do open into empty, wet rooms. And then this just leads into a dark tunnel of nothingness. Oh, okay, interesting. So you can actually fall down that. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? All right, so I'm going to follow this combine. I'm really interested in seeing, like, their pathways, like, which route they take. Barney is a tough dude, so he might be able to take on all these combine, but, uh... Yeah, Barney, you might want to get some cover, man. Alright, here we have, like, a death water room. Um, I guess NPCs do come around this area. That is really cool. And look at this! We can even see some NPCs on this catwalk here. Super cool, getting that aerial advantage. I'm sorry, but, like... The rebels are getting spawn killed! That is so not fair! I think it's safe to say the combine are just way more impressive. I don't know if they spawn in more or whatever, but... Yeah, this is definitely interesting to see. These poor lads can't even get out of their spawn. Alright, so going back to what I said, you can spawn in any NPCs you desire. And you know what would be really good for this? The Horde mod that we took a look at not that long ago. I'll put that in the top right corner. I would definitely recommend that because it spawns them all over the place. And you don't have to worry about them not navigating because, well, there should be nodes all over this map. But yeah, I'm just spawning in some zombies to try to give the rebels a chance to get out of their spawn here. We are getting some pretty tremendous lag because I do have keep corpses on. And now the Combine have two threats to deal with. But I think it's safe to say they've pretty much secured the entire area. This is definitely going to be a map that is really good at testing your weapon. So, you know, maybe you don't want to just spawn in NPCs and you actually want to have, like... An actual training course this could be a very good map for that so i'm gonna go ahead and let's go with some half-life source weapons so i'm gonna go ahead and spawn in some modern warfare weapons here we are pretty weak but maybe we can clean house and get to a medic all right looks pretty clear um never mind it's not <laughs> okay oh! is there a medic down there oh hey man can you hook me up but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to this, but I thought this was an incredibly cool mod. Something that you can use again with any NPC. Guys, let me know what you think down below, though. Aw, uh, man! What are you looking at? Shorty? But guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If you have any maps you want to recommend, definitely let me know down in the comments section down below. This and all the other mods will be in the description. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, farewell.